we're going. Hey everybody, this is that drummer guy Josh Hunkwitz, and I'm here with one of my biggest drumming inspirations, Jimmy Dallin. He's going to be headlining here tonight at First Avenue in Minneapolis. How's it going, man? All good, brother. I feel so honored because I got into you guys right when the third album came out, but I wasn't old enough to cook shows for myself, so I hadn't missed it. And this is the first time that you guys have been back since then. So, so this will be the first time, time you've seen us tonight? It'll be the first time, because I think the last time was in 2007. You're going to love it. Oh, I cannot wait. It's going to be a good show. Yeah. Yeah, I've been checking out the set list just to see what you guys have been playing in this tour, and I'm going to be definitely happy with everything they got. Awesome, man. Awesome. Yeah, we, it's mostly, uh, most of like the heavier kind of stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. We've been trying to keep it heavy. Oh, yeah. It's definitely a good mix of war beats as well. Yeah, they're great. War beats is a great band. Oh, absolutely. I've been they, a fan of this for a couple of years. They've done, uh, I don't think pretty much every tour that we've done on this record, they've done with us. Nice. So they went to Europe with us and everything. They're really, they're really nice guys. Oh, yeah, I did the interview with Bruce uh, about a half hour to an hour ago, and he was a great guy to talk to and be around. Yeah, yeah they, and he's going to the saddle in the spring. Yeah, I remember hearing about that night. I was really down when I heard that. I was not expecting that at all. Yeah, I can't imagine what you're doing. But, but at least on the positive side, you're still doing what it's loving totally. to do by going out and playing shows, which totally. is exactly what you would want in the first place. It's kind of a blessing that, you know, that he's here. You know, and maybe at home, you might you get a little more bummed out of him, so. Oh, yeah. yeah, just keep your mind busy and focus on doing what you want. That's the best way to go through it. Love doing your own. That's right. <laughs> Uh, and that said, the first time I actually heard you was on uh, the Those of Dark Patriot. Oh, okay. Super Joint Ritual, yeah. That, that was the first time I heard of it, and then I discovered Dawn from there. And pretty much since that time, you know, being a drummer myself, like, I love the way that you play. And whether it's I Hate God or Super Joint Ritual or Dawn, like, well, I, I love your guitar in that. Oh, oh, yeah, let's get to guitar yeah, in that's that. Right. Right. That's so, right. Yeah. But, um, but I just love you your style that. so much. Thank you. So, besides that obvious uh, bad stuff that's going on with Warby's, how has the tour been over this? Uh, it's been good, man. It's been really good. We played out in California, had a really good reception out there, did the King Club, played at Anaheim, and we went up in, in Seattle and Portland. Which, that's a great area as well. Started it all off in Houston. Really good. You know, good shows, man. Right? Oh, very much so. Good shows. So how did this tour come about uh, with uh, doing like, everything with Warbeast? Well, Warbeast is on House Tour, and House Tour is Phillips' label. So, you know, we take them out to give them a the give them help. It's all right. Know. Uh, it definitely helps. So I've been looking forward to seeing both of you guys. And it's a good mix, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got Warbeast there, you know, they're more like the speed metal thrash type of the genre and then whatever genre down is, you know. And it just makes for a good show, you know, different different bands, you know. Sometimes when you go to shows and it's all the same band, it's you know, it's a little I don't know. We try and bring something that you need. Yeah. Oh absolutely. And War Beast is definitely unique. Oh yeah. It, being a fan of the first as I have, I mean it's a great combination. And that's what I love in a tour is the different variety. Because even though it's cool to see like maybe like three death metal bands in one night. Sometimes it's good to have like a variety of something that doesn't sound like everybody else, so it's something right. fresh and very. Yeah, I mean, Warby's is a great band, you know, and it, it, it's, it's uh, with so many bands out nowadays, it's, you know, it, it, it's a little tougher than it used to be, you know. So, I guess, you know, you gotta work that much harder, and, you know, every chance you get to work, you know, it's good to work, so. Oh, very much so. You know what I mean. Right? Oh, yeah. Just, you know, you got to get it out there, and, you know, and, what you like to do. Damn. Yeah. There's no better feeling. Nope. And speaking of that, uh, the Purple EP just came out last year, which I am a big fan of. I love that heavy side of what you guys are doing so far. But my favorite song so far is Open Coffins. That's I do. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, All right. <laughs> yeah, I've been uh, promoting that as much as I can on my radio show, and I think that was my favorite off the EP. Uh, how did it come about to uh, starting off with like an EP and then uh, for future recordings? How did that it was actually oh, Pepper's yeah. idea, and um, went to the record company, you know, and, and they loved it, man. You know, it, uh, a band like a band like Down, we did, you know, like we did Down Three, you know, we had to go to LA and do it and everything. 
and we toured that record and went to like 40 different countries. So it took, it took basically three years to do it, you know. By the time you get finished with all that, you know, go home, you know, and then revamp up and get back in the jam room, you know, it's been four or five years. So I think with these EPs, it's, it's a lot easier for us to put releases out a little faster, you know. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's just, um, that's the thinking behind it. And also to delve into, like, the different kind of styles that we have, you know, yeah. like the more mellow stuff, the acoustic stuff, you know, things like that. So, oh, very cool. Which we haven't tapped into yet, but it's waiting. <laughs> well, I'm definitely waiting for it. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, have you guys uh, come up with the ideas yet for the upcoming releases, or are you just waiting until after the tour is done? No, we actually, we, um, we were doing this thing called Riff of the Day, where okay. every, every guy in the band had to come up with a riff. So, we did that on the last tour, and we did it, uh, I don't think we did it too much in Europe, but we have almost together, I'd say around 55 ideas go through so and that's what's so fun about down the different musicianship in the band you know if we can get together and we can take those ideas and we can run any way we want with them, you know okay. which which that's what I love about down you know? yeah that's what I've always loved about down too because you guys don't stick to just one style I mean there's a lot of creativity and dynamics in the band thank you man. which is something thank I absolutely you. love in any band thank you so, any of those uh, riffs that you've been writing, is, <coughs> has any of it been heavier than what would be on the Purple EP, or is it uh, all over the board, or what do you have so far? Yeah, the, the, a little bit of everything, man. It's, um, you know, that's the cool thing about having each new writing, you know, it's like, each riff's got like a different vibe or a different style, you know, and being the drummer, it's really fun because I get to take those riffs, you know, and put, you know, different grooves to them and stuff, you know, yeah. like, I don't know, for example, you know, in Down, there's a lot of, you know, and so try to maybe, you know, do a little more like pillars or something, you know, mm -hmm. more like kind of up type stuff or uh, yeah. losing all, so to speak, you know. Have you uh, been running any guitars or anything for Down, or are you just sticking strictly to drums? No, well, I'm one of the five, so, oh, cool. Cool. so definitely been writing, and it's exciting too because you know, I write stuff for, you know, which is obviously I hate God stuff, mm -hmm. but write stuff that, you know, I don't know, and that's what's cool about Down, you know, you can take it, and if I don't see something heavy in it, you know, personally, if being my riff, then Philip might see something in it, or hear something in it, or Pepper, or Pat, or Kurt, you know, yeah. so it works out really good. I think it was a really good idea, too, so... Yeah. I definitely like that idea. Yeah, man. You know, kind of like, kind of like clocking in. You know, all right, it's time to make a rip. You know, haven't been too good about it on this tour. But <laughs> <laughs> well, it's understandable. I mean, being on tour, it's a little bit harder to write riffs. Right. Well, yeah, there is a lot of time and stuff like that. But you know, just trying to get it all together and organize it right now. We got 55, so we're only two ahead. You know? <laughs> uh, so, uh, did you have any uh, projections of about how many EPs would be coming in the future? Three more, three more right now right, with cool. the four cycle. Yeah. You know, like at the at the end, um, the artwork's all gonna make sense. You know, so you'd be able to tie it like all in, you know, to like one big poster kind of thing. You know, oh, so cool. it's it. Pepper does all the artwork. It's amazing. He does a great job with the artwork. Oh, he really does. I love the artwork. Uh, is there? I'm probably talking way too far in the future, but is there like a, any chance of like all the sounds from the EP being played live during one show? That'd be great. We're playing three tonight. So. Oh, nice. Is Open Cop is one of them? Yeah. Yeah, All yeah right. bro. All right. I like, dude, I love that one. That's my favorite. Because cause that one is kind of like uh, up-tempo, you know? It's a, it's a little different, you know? Yeah, I, th I think that's probably why I like it the most. It is, like, the most different of all the songs that are on the EP. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. It, 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 I was drawn right to it. I love it, dude, yeah. <laughs> oh, I do, too. I love playing along with it. Yeah, the, if, if I was learning drums today, I would definitely do a lot of things different. <laughs> a lot of things different. Well, like I was saying before, like I've gotten a lot of inspiration for, for the drumming albums I can get on. And I, I 
try to incorporate it into my cell. busy playing and not enough listening, you know. Well, sometimes that's okay, too. I mean, you gotta keep going with the job and everything. Mm -hmm. You know, just push out what you're doing, too. Well, I just, just try and stay focused, you know. And, yeah. and Phil's real good at turning, turning me on and stuff, you know, as far as, like, you know, bands and stuff. I would assume another. Ghost is one of them, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. He turned us on to them. Uh, yeah, funny story about here. He called us, he called us and I think it was one ninety two and we were all in the Melvins at that time. He's like, dude, forget the Melvins. I'm like, what are you talking about? You know? He's like, dude, I just saw this band, Helmet. Oh, Helmet. He saw a Helmet strap 
hopping on to it, man. I've yet to see helmets. Uh, they, they haven't done as much touring around here as I was hoping they would be. But next time they come to town, I'm definitely going to see them. Yeah, well, that, that was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. They still tour. I, I, um, I think Kirk and the Crowbar have done the tour. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they also uh, were on the first Metal Alliance tour. But, uh, oh, okay. but that did not come around here, I think, closer to Chicago. Uh, Minneapolis gets skipped a lot. Uh, it kind of varies. like. Like some tours that you wouldn't expect to come here, like we're one of the major dates, but other ones that you think would be a lock in, we don't get. Right, right. I mean, like, kind of like uh, we talked about before the camera came on, like, uh, this is the first time I've been able to see you guys since 2007, since I think it was the last time you've been here. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, we were trying to figure out when the last time we were here was. Yeah, yeah you're, that's right. Right around probably 2007 for sure, man. Yeah. It's been a long time. Oh, yes. <laughs> Dude, it's due. Once again, this has been Jimmy from Down, and this is that drummer guy, Josh Rundquist.